So you do need some stuff today. A ball or a block or an object that's about this big and then weights. And they can be pretty heavy because we're using them for some um, deadlifting stuff. Uh, okay, let's get going. <laughs> Um, we're going to start pretty soon with the band, so just have that close too. And let's start with the head. So let's roll it. As you're rolling your head, plant your feet on the ground. Feel the weight of your feet on the ground. And keep the weight. Try to relax the head as you're doing that. Rolling it both ways, one way and the other. And after you've rolled it out, coming back to the center, just a little relax. We're going to take the shoulders up and down. So just rest and then let them go. Up and drop. Up. Drop. About three or four times. After that, let's just take your wrist out. Press your palms. So you're pressing through your palms. Your fingertips are up. And then you drop it down and try to release your shoulders. And we're going to do that one more time. Just reach, press through the palms. A good little... Wrist release and release, stretch through the shoulders. Keep the arms where they are, big circles, up and back. Breathing. Deep breath. Good. And the other way, up and over. Breathing. Nice. Take your hands to your hips. Let's circle your, your upper body. So only upper body, not as much hips. The hips might move, that's fine, but focus on the upper body. Two or three times one way, take a pause. Two or three times the other way. And then breathing and then taking it back to the center after you've done two or three times. Could make some space for yourself to do some kick twist. You could do these walking if you want, forward and backwards, or just in one spot. Strong arms, so you're reaching through your fingertips. Your legs don't have to be straight. Let's do 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and one. <laughs> and reach your leg back behind you for a lunge stretch. You're just going to push into it and stretch. We're going to straighten the front leg up. Inhaling and exhaling, you come right back to the lunge. Inhaling up and exhaling. Good. Just keep going through inhaling up. Exhaling down, knee in the direction of the toes into straight. Good. Um, going step it forward, let's switch to the other side. Good. And make sure both your hip bones are facing forward um, as you bend in straight and the back leg is lifted. Good. And if you wanted to bring your arms up, maybe you, you know, take a stretch or something, go for it. Um, whatever feels good. Good. One more time. Awesome. And let's take it down to the ground. We're gonna start with the core. These are circles. So your hands go behind your head. You look up at the ceiling. You do circles up from one shoulder blade down to the other. You're gonna do the same way 10 times. So you're going just one shoulder blade off the ground, then the other. You exhale when you come up. Inhale when you come down. The head is staying looking at the ceiling. So make sure it's not your head that's circling, it's your chest. Think about it in the shoulder blades. You do 10 one way, you go all one way for 10. And then once you've done 10 one way, you stop, you pause, you do 10 the other way. Breathing. Make sure you're exhaling. Your feet are just planted on the ground. Navel pulls the spine. You can root down in your sit bones, but try not to squeeze too much in the butt. This is more about legs. Pulling the belly in. So 10 one way, 10 the other way. Once you're done, you're going to release. We've got 10 bridges. Just warming up. You've got up and squeeze and back down. Just 10, nice and simple. Nothing extra. We're just warming up, opening up the back, using the core. And now you start to use your legs. Tucking the chin in. Bridges nice and simple, up and back. Good. Keep it up. So 10 bridges, you've got 10 circles one way, 10 circles the other way, and 10 bridges. Good. And once you're done with that, we're gonna grab the objects. We're going straight into using these. So I'm just gonna show you, you do not have to do this with the object, you could just do it pretending like you have one. 
So you place it between your knees, you take your hands behind your head and you take your elbow to the foot and you release this leg. So go on getting into this position and then what you do is you just tap, exhale one and you release, exhale two and you release. We'll do 15 each side. But go ahead and go if you have it. Now if you don't have an object, you can just turn and just do this. And you're doing 15 each side then you switch. Having something to put your elbow on and squeeze into your knee just keeps you in this alignment here. And it makes it just a little bit harder because you have to really get up there. You have to feel yourself get up there. So you have 15 one way and then 15 the other. So I'm going to show you other side too so you can see it from. It just comes up tapped. Make sure you're doing big exhales, pulling navel to spine. Keep it a big twist, so your um, one shoulder blade of the moving leg is off the ground. So you have 15 each way. You should start to feel a burning in your core. I definitely do. <laughs> Make sure you're doing both sides. Good. So 15 each side. After you finish each take, if it's in each side, you can put the object away for a moment and just stretch, stretch it out, big stretch. Deep breath, again, in your bridge. Good. And we're gonna do 10 more bridges. So meeting up all together, 10 more bridges right here. Arms are down, same thing, just squeeze for one, two, three. Good, keep it going. Four, it's a little bit longer warm up today, but we're getting into some um, strength and uh, seven minutes station, so we wanna make sure the body's ready. So after you've done 10 up and down, one more thing with the object, if you have it. These are pass betweens. You lift up, you tuck your chin, your shoulder blades are off the ground. You pass right, left, right, left. You can clap if you don't have it. 30 total. So every time you, you clap or pass, it counts as one. Let's go. So what I do with my shoulder blades off the ground, I do with my chin tucked in. Now if this starts to hurt your head, you can lower it down and do it this way. That's okay. But this is the more challenging. You're doing 30. Good. 30 of those. And after you're done, take a moment, breathe, stretch it out. We have one more thing, and you don't need your ball for those. Um, so you're coming up, one more thing. These are these bridges again. You're taking one leg up towards the ceiling, and you're going down and up 10 times, one leg up towards the ceiling, and then down and up 10 times, other leg up. So go on and start that. I'm gonna show you one more time. So down and up, down and up. You're trying to squeeze the glute, squeeze your hamstring, get it high. You can always cross the leg over if it's too much to have it straight up to the ceiling. 10 one way, 10 the other. So after this, you should feel like your glutes and your butt are, are warmed up. <laughs> I get into what you're doing. So it's seven minutes. Um, so the first one is wall sit to hip to heel raise. So you want to be here on the wall. So you've got this wall sit, heel raise, and down, up, and down. If you don't have a wall, you're doing squats and lifting it. Um, squat to lateral kick right and left. So it's down, kick, down. Lots of squats in this one to start with. Um, and then you're doing bridge with heels raised. We just did bridge. Now you're doing with the heels raised. You're going to lift something else. Squats to deadlift. That is where um, this is. So it's not type. It's, you're doing a deadlift. And the reason I say squat is if you need to bend the knees, that's okay. So just down and up. Um, but it's a deadlift, just down and up. Now, if you don't have weights, that's okay. You just still do this deadlift. And you don't have to bend the knees. I like to do them straight, but I know that sometimes that's not um, feasible. Okay, so we're doing this for seven minutes. So okay, so it's nice and simple. You get into it. You get to go on your own breath, your own timing. Let's get going. Um, let's go for four. For three, there it is. For two, one, and go. So you start with wall sit to heel raise. So you're here on the wall, and you just lift your heels and put them down for 20, 19, 18, 17. That's it. 
You want to keep your navel pulled in and make sure you're pushing into the ball of the foot. The knees are going straight out from the hips. And after you've done your wall sit to heel raise, you've got squat alternate leg hit. So it's kick right, nice strong kick, kick left. It's 30 total, so you end up doing 15 kicks right and 15 kicks left. So down. Now, also, this is like your seven minutes, so you might be off my timing. That's okay. <laughs> It's 15 each side. You're alternating right and left, um, and that's 30 total, so that's why it's 15 each side. Make sure that you're getting the squat, heels backwards, I mean, pelvis backwards. My words are all off today. <laughs> and when you're coming up, you're squeezing your glute. When you come up, lift your leg. So you come up on a single leg. The next thing you're doing is bridge with heels raised. So you just did bridges. But we're switching this off. It's going to work a little bit of different muscle, probably more the glutes. That means you're on the ball of the foot, and you're up and you squeeze. The heels raised, you want to feel it a little bit more in the glute and also in your calves. So y'all know that. You know bridges with heels raised. It's nice and simple. You've already done it. Keep it going. And I'm just going to show the last one again. It's a deadlift. So this is when you would use the weights. And you're leaning forward, your arms go forward. If you had a bar, you could use a bar holding it with weights. And you come up and you squeeze. A bar with weights is not generally something everyone has at home, though. <laughs> so you're going to lean it over. You want your back to be flat. That's very important. When you come up, you squeeze your glutes. Your arms do go a tiny bit back here, just a little bit. It's going to work your back, too. And you take it back down. And the reason I say you can bend your knees or do a tiny squat is that you don't want your weight to go backwards. So you don't want your weight to go on your heels. You want your weight to be even over your ball of your foot. So you come up, you squeeze. Down. This does work your back. It will work the back of the legs as well. You can do it with a straight leg. Just make sure that you don't take your weight too far backwards. You have to keep the weight even. And there's 20. Lots to say about deadlifts. <laughs> I haven't put them in because we haven't really, no, you know, I don't know weights, but I just figured it was time. But you can do it without weights. It's still very effective. Really watch your weight of your feet. Make sure that it doesn't go too far forward or too far backwards. Okay, and keep it up. <laughs> you're doing good. You're about three, you're three minutes in. So, nice, strong beginning legs. And after you finish those deadlifts, you go right back into 20 wall sits, just pushing into ball of the foot lifting your heels. When you're in your wall sit, straight back. Make sure your head does not come forward. Abs are engaged. You got it. Moving on your own timing. Sometimes I scoot a little bit forward on wall sits when I do them by lifting the heels. So, And you just keep it going. Woo! Doing good. <laughs> So if you don't have a wall, I forgot to mention that. If you don't have a wall, you can do squats, heel raises, where you're just like this. It's going to be harder on the calves, but totally fine. And if you just want to do it, you can also do that too. So um, I know you've already gotten there once, but just in case you were wondering what to do. <laughs> These are your kicking to the side, so it's a lateral kick. Try to kick somebody next to you. Good. Keep it up. Keep it breathing. You got it. Nice and strong. 30 squat into your lateral kicks. You got it. And then you take it down into your bridges with your heels raised. Good job. You're doing great. Keep it going. <laughs> You're close. Awesome. Keep it up. You have got a little bit more than a minute, so. Keep going, keep breathing. 
breathing, working the legs. Time check, you're probably at, yeah, you have got like about 40 seconds. So try to finish it up. Doing good. Awesome, keep it up. Keep it going, you're doing good. You've got 20 seconds right here, 20 seconds. You might be able to start all over from the beginning or wherever you're at. Just finish it up nice and strong. Don't stop until I tell you I'm gonna count you down right here for 10, for nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, you got it, four, three, two, and one. Great, so take a moment, breathe. Great, and so what we're doing next is seven minutes of arms, and I'm just gonna start over the timer and right here, and I'll show you. So it starts with arm circles. Those are nice and simple. 60 arm circles. You go to a lay down push up. That means you come all the way to the ground, extend your arms if you can to super, woman, man, and push right back up. And you do that. Um, that is uh, 15 times. Tricep scarecrow, that's this one, 60 times. And then you have a reverse plank here. Hands are here and you're lifting up, up, and down, lower yourself down, and then lifting back up, and down. Um, it, seven minutes. So you might be able to get through this one three times but you're, you're going to do awesome. Um, all right, so let's get it going. So let me count you down. You've got three, two, one, and go. So you're starting with your arm circles. That's here, it's 60. It doesn't really matter which way you go, but if you remember and you go one way, go the other way on the other one. You got it. Starting off strong today with some strength, just working on that. After you've done 60 of these, you go into these lay down push ups. So these are coming all the way to the ground, makes it a little bit harder because you don't have that momentum. Reach it out, it's going to work your back. And then you pull the navel and you come back up. Now, coming back up in a straight back doesn't work. Come back up in a flat back, that's fine. And then you go right back again reach and come back up and out when I come to the ground I hug my elbows in I work the tricep that way but it's okay to go out just make sure your shoulders are relaxed 15 of those those are hard ones but you got it you can do it keep breathing <laughs> So it's just one, two. You've got 60 of these. Really important on these that your collarbone is lifted and your shoulders are relaxed. Doing good. It's meant to burn out the arms. So this works more of the tricep but you also might feel it in the delts. I also feel it in my bicep, but it also might be because I did a lot of biceps earlier. <laughs> Most, it's mostly targeting the tricep, just so you know where it's targeting. Um, the reverse plank will target more the delt, the um, rotator, and your abs. So I like to come up, point my toes, come back down, flex my feet. It helps with that direction, up, and down. Head does not have to go back. Head can stay tilted in. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale and exhale. Awesome. So keep it up. Keep it going. If you need any modifications, let me know, especially if reverse plank is too much on your wrist. That's okay. You can do some back delt lifts, especially if you have the weights. 
That is a modification for a reverse plank. You could do more than 15 if you don't have weights, but if you did, that's your modification for a reverse plank. All right, keep it up. You're doing good. You are about at three minutes, a little bit over it. So keep going, keep working through it. You're gonna do it for seven. It's meant to burn it out and then we'll stretch the arms and get into some core. Great, good, keep it going. So your back, for example, the arm circles. Arm circles are small. You're, draw, you're drawing like, I don't know, quarter, half dollar. Mine are a little bit big for the screen, but you don't have to do them as big as me. I just want you to be able to see. Good, keep it up. Keep it breathing. Six, the arm circles go into your lay down push-ups. Important in push-ups, abs, core is engaged. Flat back, all the way down. Nice and strong, you got it. So we're taking separate areas and focusing on it. So it's meant to be really tired. It's meant to um, burn it out. So if it starts to feel like, oh, I'm weak in my arms because we've been doing it, just keep pushing it because that's where you build the strength is when it's hard. Good. Keep it up. You're doing good. I'm going to give you a time check. You've got... You're at almost five minutes. <laughs> so you almost made it to five minutes. That means you've almost got two more left. Probably enough time to fit in everything three times, maybe. Keep it breathing. You got it. Keep it up. Y'all are doing great. I'm into the reverse planks. So that's what I'm going to be doing. If you need tips on it, look at me now. <laughs> Keep it breathing. Keep it going. Again, if you need to modify the reverse plank, you're doing this deltoid lift with or without weights right behind you. That means your palms face up. That's the delts behind you. Good. You're doing great. You've got about one minute. One minute. So keep it going all the way to the end. You can do it. You've got pretty much about a minute, a little over a minute left. Good. Keep it breathing. Keep it going. Whew. Strong arms. Awesome. Great, so I'm gonna give you a little bit of a countdown. You've got about 30 seconds right here. So all the way to the end, 30 seconds. Even if you're at your hard one, say I can do this. I can do 30 seconds more. And then we take a little arm stretch. You got it. Keep it going. Great. 15 seconds right here. 15. You can do it. <laughs> Just going to arm circle it so I can read it. <laughs> nice. Five, four, good. Three, two, and one. Awesome. So take a breather. This would be a really good time to stretch your arms, especially your deltoids. So just like this and make sure you breathe. Good, both sides. All right, so this is another strength builder, and this is an abs. So you, sit, um, you start with your sit up, arms up. So what I mean by that is your arms are up and you sit up. This is a place where you could hold a weight if you wanted to, or that object I had you hold, you could hold it like the ball. Um, sit up, arms up, arms are reaching, and you come back up. That's it, 15 of those, you got it. And then we go into bike abs, y'all know bike abs, nice and simple. Straddle reach through, probably one of my least favorites. This is actually really hard. And you just lift up and down, 15. 
It's like way harder than it looks. Um, and then you have plank touch knee. So that looks like this. One, two, three. And you have 30 of those. So this is for the core. <laughs> A little bit arms still, because still plank, but mostly core. Okay, I'm gonna get you started. I'm gonna count you down, look at my timer. Um, you're gonna start with sit up, arms up, grab a weight or an object if you want it. You've got three, two, one, and go. <laughs> so if you had that object, you could hold it like this. A sit up is a slow up and a slow down. So whatever you go up is the same amount of time you go down. And that's so you can roll through your core. It works your core up and it works your core down. And that's also so it doesn't protect your back. So no just dropping. There has to be a tilting of the pelvis and a rolling down. If for some reason you had a weight, you wanted to have it at your chest, that's okay. Or you could hold it up here as long as it doesn't hurt your neck. Set up arms up. It's great. Good, awesome, love the objects. <laughs> then you're gonna go into bike abs. So, y'all know bike abs, you're just bicycling down and down. We wear them up for this with the object. So it's the same idea. So really try to get that elbow to the knee, just like you did um, earlier today when you're holding something in it. So 30 of those, we got it. Keep it breathing. I like to exhale every side because that really helps me to train my navel to pull to my spine. Um, but no matter what, you just want to make sure that you're always breathing because that's going to help work your diaphragm, your core. Especially in abdominals, you want to exhale on the exertion. Um, awesome. So your straddle reach through. So there's a straddle. And this is actually working a lot more upper core, but you're still holding your, your legs up by using your core. So keep your feet over your hips. Don't let them come too forward because that will work more your hip flexors. You can flex through your feet. I find that easier if I keep my feet active. It's easier on my legs to not actually go into my hip flexors. And you're just reaching up, that's it. You're just lifting your shoulder blades and reaching up. If it hurts your head, you take your hands behind your head but you keep the gaze at the ceiling. You've got 15, actually reach up for something. <laughs> you got it, and then the, the plank touch the knee. Just try to keep your straight plank and you just reach. So you're not lifting your pelvis, you're not dropping your head. Your, your plank stays straight. You just lift up your arm and reach for the leg. That's the hard part is to not wobble side to side. You've got 30, that's 15 each time you, you um, each arm. So one, two, three, four, like 15 each arm. 15 sets. Great, keep it up. You can also jog this one. Get the heart rate up a little bit. Since we're focusing on strength first today. Um, awesome, y'all are doing good. You're about two minutes in. So you've got about four minutes to go. Whew, you might be able to fit in three rounds of this one too. So really get the core working. And keep it breathing, keep it exhaling, nice work, and just start all over when you finish with the amazing sit-ups, with the whole thing. You just keep going. Big exhale. Always exhaling in your core when you're exerting. Really important because that helps to train to draw the navel to the spine. Especially when you're doing resistance strength. Might be a little bit different if you're trying to build out, but we're not doing that today. You got it. Keep it up. You're doing good. Good. Keep breathing. Awesome. I'm going to give you a time check. Good. <laughs> you're at three minutes, so keep it up. <laughs> Actually, no, I, I take that back here. Four minutes. So you've done four minutes um, in, and I was reading it wrong. Um, so you've got two minutes to go. So you're doing great. Keep it up.
Deep breaths, good. Keep it going, remember the form, but try to get through it at least twice. Maybe you can get through it um, two and a half, three times. A minute and 30 seconds. If I'm counting that right. Six, oh, four. Yeah. You're coming into close to a minute. Good. If it starts to get hard, just close your eyes, say I can do it. I've got about a minute left. You've got like one minute. Do it all the way to the end. Especially focusing on the ones that are hard for you. Working the core. You got it. So close. Good. Some water. Awesome, and you are done, but you could do a stretch at the end if you want to. Thanks.